Police divers have spent the whole morning uh, below the Hawkesbury River trying to salvage the seaplane wreckage. Police uh, went down underneath the water. They attached the aircraft. Uh, they attached two airbags to the aircraft and then it's slowly being floated to the surface. It could be that the plane wreckage is in multiple parts. We still don't know that for sure, but uh, that's all we can see at the moment. Of course, uh, they are trying to also uh, connect hoses down there so that these divers can communicate with two police boats on the surface. A crane is there ready on a barge and once the wreckage is at the surface, it will then lift it onto the barge. It will then make its way up Kowan Creek into the Hawkesbury River it will go around the headland and then it will come down pit water and down to a boat ramp there. That's where it will be met by New South Wales Police and Australian Transport Safety Bureau investigators. They will load it onto a truck and then it will be taken away to a nearby facility for further examination. Revelations came out this morning in a report by the Australian Transport Safety Bureau. It says the seaplane used to be a crop duster and that it was involved in a deadly collision near Armadale about 20 years ago. That happened in northern New South Wales. Some of the factors that came up in that investigation included hot gusty winds and high density altitude. We have heard that in this latest accident, there were high winds at the time that that plane was flying in the sky. Uh, they also said that uh, it was likely that the pilot in the Armadale incident uh, stalled the plane and that's what caused it to crash. That is a similar thing where the investigators are looking at in this latest investigation. So the parallels are quite similar. Now, most importantly, that AATSB report said the plane was destroyed. But according to the Civil Aviation Authority, it was uh, assessed by a specialist engineer and then uh, was re it was deemed repairable. So no doubt a number of questions over just the history of that plane. Uh, really devastating for the families and friends of the victims who are waiting for answers. And uh, we understand that a few of the relatives could be heading here to Australia as the investigation continues.